But since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, more goodness, hopefully, from Monkish, Torrance, California. Uh, this is social growth. Uh, and that, what are we doing with that label art? I don't know. What is that? It looks like a... <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's a snail on top of something. I don't know. Someone's hiding under something. Uh, it's colorful though. It's fine. I don't know what it is. I miss... Uh, listen, I, I like I appreciate the new Monkish labels, but I just miss the old labels that just have the print on it. I really do. I'm an old school guy. I miss the old Treehouse labels too. Uh, per the label, speaking of label drink every time i've said label so far 8.1 percent alcohol by volume it is a double dry hop double ipa uh and it was canned on it says hermit <laughs> is that a is that like a pandemic thing uh canned on may 18th time of recording we're about three weeks in the can we just uh drank west coast galaxy which was canned the day after this um beer dude monkish let me just tell you one thing they have been brewing and canning a shitload of beer and it has been amazing if you are in California because they are shipping beer. Uh, I'm sure everything is going to change um, once restrictions are lifted next week. What are we? 10 days away. And then people are going to the brewery again because every, I mean, beer, more beer is going to get kegged and all that stuff. So cans won't be as plentiful, but holy smokes, Monkish has been killing it the last like six months. They just have, it's crazy. So let's get into this one. We're using our Monkish glassware because beer tastes better out of proper glassware. You guys know that. And it looks hazy AF. Um, I don't know, I didn't look this beer up, um, but my BFF Craig sent me this, and it looks like that head wasn't even going to form, um, but it's like half a finger and it's dissipating quickly. I don't know if this beer is like heavily oated or if it's just the pops. That head is not sticking around. Um, it's kind of rocky, sudsy, not a whole lot going on in the middle of it. It's bright white. It is hazy AF. Looks off. Look, dude, this glass, I'm in love with it. I am in love with this glass. So... Uh, Monkish, I mean, I've talked about other West Coast breweries. <sighs> Monkish, like, I became a Monkish fanboy hard when I first drank them, and I've just, my thoughts and <laughs> feelings about them haven't changed. Mon I mean, I've had other breweries, like, on the West Coast that I really, really, really like. I love, um, but I, for me, Monkish is the best West Coast brewery as far as, like, hazy beers go. It, they just are. It's... It's just the way that it goes. So if you disagree with that, it's fine to be wrong. <laughs> You're fucking wrong. Monkish is the best. So let's shove our fat nose in this one. I don't know what's in this beer. Let's just guess. You want to guess with me? Let's do it. This smells like classic Monkish to me. Um, it, smel <laughs> it smells hoppy. It smells like it's going to be bitter. It smells intense. It smells thick. It's so, I don't know if because this is like the second beer of the week. I don't want to say this smells boozy, but this smells, it smells like a big beer, but it's only, what do we say? 8.1%. This almost smells intense. Like their triple IPA smell, which is, I don't know if that just might be my nose. That could just be me, but this is heavy citrus, orange, sweet tangerine. Um, there's tropical fruits. It's like stone fruity, I think. Um, but yeah, this just smells really intense, really heavy, really thick. And I know you can't smell those things, but if you've drank Monkish beers, I think you know what I'm talking about. Maybe, maybe not. It smells fucking awesome. It just smells, I don't know why this smells so like huge to me. Huge aroma, it smells a lot higher of an ABV than 8.1% would, uh, would be like what you would expect to smell from that. But like a good amount, like a good, just like white bready crackery thing underneath all that. It's just like, this is such a fucking explosion of hops and like hops mixed with juice, mixed with tons of citrus, mixed with tons of stone fruit. It's the best way to describe it. So let's go and taste it, Craig. I love you, bro. Cheers. Yeah. So this is a monkish beer. Um, West Coast Galaxy, which we just reviewed that was an unfiltered west coast style ipa um and i don't know if it's the like maybe they use a different yeast it tastes like a completely different beer this tastes like if you've had intensely hopped intensely fruity monkish beers that's this beer um they just henry fucking nails it like this this style i call it like a hybrid new england west coast style 
and this is why I say they're the best on the West Coast, because they have taken this style and they've perfected it. Um, this is not juice, this is not soft, this is not dainty. This is New England hazy juice mixed with West Coast in your face bitterness. This beer is absolute fucking fire. I can't wait to look this up on Untap and see if people talk shit about it. I feel like ever since Monkish has canned a lot more beer, people are like, eh, it's not that great anymore. Because the hype has died down and they can't trade fucking 27 cans for one can like old school monkish assholes used to trade for or used to ask for ask for <laughs> ask for <laughs> um this is intensely pithy tons and tons of citrus oranges grapefruit grapefruit peel um, a little bit of like lemon zest bitterness it's stone fruity peachy there's even like a piney kind of a, a sprucey thing um i don't know what that's from and maybe that's still my palate being affected by the West Coast Galaxy beer that we just drank. Um, but there's like a old school, like sprucey green hot matter um, aspect of this. But make no mistake, this is in your face. This is like an assault on your taste buds. This is intense, even at, I mean, I don't, I can't even imagine what this was like, like day one or day two after it was canned. It was probably crazy as far as like, there might've been hot burn in this beer, I'm guessing. Um, that I think that's mellowed out a little bit in the you know three and a half weeks it's been in the can, but um, this beer is I love it. I fucking love this beer. I feel like I mean I don't want to guess. I just I feel like this is a citra heavy beer. I just there's so much orange and so much tangerine. Like it just reminds me of citra, which is the hop that I fell in love with. So um, I'll I'll look it up after I'm done. But um, I mean this is a world class double dry hopped hazy double IPA from Monkish. It really is. Um, I just, this is what I like. I like hoppy. I like intense. I like fruity when it comes to hazy beers. Um, I'm fine with like, you know, dainty, juicy New England style beers from the East coast. But if I'm going to drink hazy beers and try and drink them all night, like I might try to tonight, this is what I want to drink. I mean, 8.1%. It's not something that I want to drink a hundred of just because I'll die. But, um, Spears fire. And that's all there is to it. <laughs> I hope other people like this beer because I love it. So we will leave it at that. That's social growth from Monkish. Torrance, California. Craig, I appreciate you, bro. You know I love you. If you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you guys very soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All this shit. <laughs> I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.